this walk with God is so narrow and it's not easy by any means. What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video, another vlog. Sorry guys. I want to get out. What are you saying? Sorry, grab some of these bags. What y'all doing? Yeah. Oh my God, my kids don't listen to nothing. I done went and bought them a toy from Five and Below. Girl, I'm gone. They won't talk to you. And they don't listen to me. But what's up? How you guys doing? She's going back with another video. I hate when people say that. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm Kenna Kendra, whichever, whichever you prefer to call me. It's perfectly fine with me. If you're new here, girl, hit the subscribe button, join the family. You will love it over here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to understand me if I learn to slow down. Because <laughs> I can talk pretty fast and start stuttering. But, hey, or welcome everyone um today is sunday august the 10th um yeah and we're back with another vlog i had told myself i was gonna start another vlog start this vlog off yesterday cleaning up but then grog changed my mind i changed my mind really really fast y'all up here today i called myself recording uh us being in stores but girl it was a fail i went to the stores to look for for one to get my kids a toy um they haven't had a toy in a very long time because I, I called myself what well, I did. I did pat myself on the back. I broke the habit of getting them a toy every weekend. Um, so they no longer have the expectation of getting a new toy every weekend. So I promised them a toy today. So I went to Five and Below. They, their request was Five and Below. So I went there, let them get a toy. Checked out the pet section, which y'all would have seen me in. And, um, Oh, I'll probably pop it up on the screen while I'm talking because it's really like little small clips. I really wanted one of those little drinking little thingies the, with the put the water in for the dogs and then you can put pour a little bit of the water out for the smaller cup attached to it for him to be able to uh, have water on the go. They didn't have those. They had them at first, but I guess they never restocked. Um, then I wanted to, uh, my main thing was to get him a container with wheels on it for his food, to keep his food fresh because the bags that it's in is the bags that it came in and the zip thing does not, it barely works. So that's why I really came out the house for, for real, for real, besides my kid's toy. And I remember seeing one at Burlington's, which y'all seen me at Burlington's or you, you, you guys seen, you guys are seeing me at Burlington's right now. And girl, Hot Mess Express. The whole aisle was blocked by suitcases. Why did they pack the suitcases out like that? I don't know. But, um, yeah, they didn't have it. They had one at first, like I said, when I, uh, when I was talking about, um, Five and Below. The items that I went look for, they had them before when I went in the store, like, some weeks ago. And now, they, they didn't have it. So, I guess I'm gonna have to order what I wanted for him, for Bruno, off Amazon. Um... But truth be told, girl, I didn't really need to spend no money instant way. I really should have just waited until all the moving that's going on takes place and then get it. But I really don't want this. Ex dog food is expensive, especially when you your dog is on a certain type of dog food. And it's not like the cheapest brands. His food is expensive and I cannot afford for it to become stale because the bags won't close properly. So, yeah, I really needed that. But like I said, I went off Amazon. But anywho... I just put up at my sister's house <clears throat> to see the baby. My little brother and his girlfriend is here also. So let's get inside. I'm not gonna I'm probably not gonna show the baby face on camera because I don't think that they revealed like not revealed, but I don't think that they have shown her face yet on any social media platform. So I probably won't show the baby, but yeah, or I don't I don't know. I if I vlog in here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring my camera in just in case. Because my family is extremely funny. <laughs> and I don't want to miss nothing. But, uh, yeah, I just want to get this vlog started and say, hey, how y'all doing? Hopefully y'all doing well. Hopefully this weekend is has been or is amazing whenever you are watching this or whatever day you're yeah, watching this. Hopefully it was amazing. Rudeness. Oh, sorry. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Rude. Whatever day you're watching this, hopefully it was amazing or it is amazing. But, um... Yeah, let me get up in this house for so my kids. Gonna... What's in here for me, honey? My kids is rushing me. Here, take it out. I'm gonna take it. This oh, is this is the only thing I got for Bruno. Some wipes. 
for his eyes so I can wash his face in the morning because So yeah, let me get up in the towel. Child, listen. It's been when I start this vlog. Y'all want me to go to Fab and Below? That was yesterday or the day yesterday. yesterday? That, that was, was Sunday. That was. I think it was Sunday. Oh, that was Saturday. One of them days, Saturday, Sunday. I don't remember, but that's the time. Talk to y'all. Um, ain't not much going on, which is why I picked the camera back up. She wants to show y'all what she got. For five I got, and below. I got a stitch microphone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And look, it works. Hold on. See if you see the back. <coughs> oh shoot. It's gonna light up. It's gonna make that sound. Oh baby. <laughs> Y'all can hear. I still got a my throat still hurt a little bit. I still it it, it didn't cause the cough to come about. Um, but ain't nothing much been going on. It's actually nighttime. It's Monday, August 12th at 9.22 at night. I've been trying to, I came on here to just, yeah, just talk to y'all up because I ain't want too many days to go past that and talk to y'all. But I've been trying to get this vlog up. I know I said I was going to get it up the day. I know I said I was going to get it up the same day that I uh, ended it off. If Well, when you finally watching it. When you watching this, that vlog will already be up. But, girl, it's been uploading all day. The internet is so slow, like extremely slow. When it comes to my computer, I don't know why it was going on, but it's been uploading all day. And I am, well, half the day, because the other half, it was exported to my hard drive. And it took half the day to do that. And so, now we only at 32%. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, I, um, I don't know. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just let it continue to go all night till it get, gets up. Hopefully, in the morning. By the morning, it will be ready. I need to just... I should have been trying to get this up. But I was waiting, thinking that it was just going to upload quickly. But, I don't know. Um, I guess we can be expecting, like, a couple videos a week no promises but a couple videos a week or one long one regular video like a long form video i did one youtube short a week until i move and and then maybe the you know maybe the wi-fi will be a whole lot better when i move so i won't have these problems but it seems like every single time that i decide to okay baby every single time i decide to get myself back on track with whatever it is like anything to better myself um it can be anything eating healthy working out creating content it can be anything anything that will better me as a person in whatever area of my life it's always something like i, I don't like to say it's always something because then it will always be something but i feel like every single time I open my mouth before I take the step to say or make up my mind that I'm that I'm gonna do a certain thing. It's like so immediate so attack. And I'm just learning that he won't leave me alone. I I I text your teacher, baby. But she's gonna still be mad. Okay, but I'll let her know that you lost the paper. Okay. She's gonna give you another day to do it, alright? Calm down. But she don't have another copy. She do, she a teacher. Um, what was I just saying? But yeah, I'm just starting to just realize that no matter what I do, he's gonna always be mad, and he's gonna forever be present. As long as there's breath in my body, he's gonna always be around, trying to figure out how he can try to knock me off my square or stop me. But with me knowing that now, I'm just being more intentional on pushing through regardless of what he tried to throw my way so first it was the fact that your girl throat started hurting i came on my cycle a whole week early it's the worst cycle i have ever had in my life i'm cramping extremely bad um nice stop it don't do that use a spoon nasty no i just wanted the egg okay um did you finish what was on your plate huh um and then on top of that, I took a rest day yesterday because I, I really should have just got pushed through. But y'all, I was 
in so much pain. Wait, boo boo. I was in so much pain. I'm cutting my face off. I look a mess. But I was in so much pain yesterday. To it brought it brought it brought me to tears, literally. Um. So I decided not to get up and get the vlog up. I mean, export it to the, my hard drive so I can get up to you guys, which I should have just pushed through and just got it up. That way, it would have been up today, like I had planned. But it's okay. Um. And then now it's taking forever to upload. So. I don't know. Um, I do know. I'm not gonna stop, but it's just like he needs to just go ahead and just give up because now I didn't caught on that he didn't caught on to the cycles that I'm constantly falling for and that he's constantly that he, that he has been putting me in and he thinks he he's going to keep me in. Um, I'm just telling myself to remind myself to just be more intentional on not to not keep falling for the same the same thing falling in the same cycles that he be trying to keep me in so we're gonna just keep pushing and yeah so the vlog should be up tomorrow on tuesday so yeah by the time i seen this it'll be already up but i just want to come in and check in with y'all because i don't want too many days to go past i really don't want my videos my vlogs to be long for y'all i don't want it to be no more than 20 minutes so let me get up off here and i'll come back tomorrow or yeah, tomorrow or whenever I'm doing some child. Because if I'm still in as much pain that I'm in, I'll, it won't be tomorrow. I'm just going to be honest. It'll be an update when this subside a little bit. Because this is too much. Too much. Okay? Alright. Yeah. Hold on. I got y'all propped up so ghetto. Got y'all propped up on my stand, not Stanley Cup, my Simple Modern Cup. Because I ain't my, um my uh tripod is in the car this is such an ugly angle but we're gonna have to make it work um what's up y'all welcome back to another now we'll come back welcome to another day in the vlog today is thursday august the 15th Ugh. august the 15th um at 11 30 in the morning um i don't know why i keep popping back up on here days later but hey we still we still we still recording we still vlogging <laughs> and so i'm just gonna take it for what it is and just keep the ball rolling um but i don't even remember the last time i seen y'all i think last time i talked to y'all i was talking to y'all about um letting y'all give y'all an update on my vlog so the vlog before this one the first one um that i have put out since being gone for three months is up now girl that vlog took forever in a day but when I last talked to y'all, it had finally, it had finally completed later that night. Like it took the entire rest, the the rest of that day, to um upload completely onto YouTube. So I didn't make it go live until the following day, which was yesterday. So I last talked to y'all on Tuesday, and so the vlog went live on Wednesday. So by the time y'all watching this, that vlog will already be up. But I don't want I don't want my vlogs to be long anymore. Um, I'm I'm kind of like trying to find a way to like shift what I'm doing, trying to figure out what works best for me. Being that we so close to a thousand subscribers, and yeah, I need my watch hours to go up some. So I'm gonna try to make sure that my vlogs, all my videos that I put out, is under a certain amount of minutes because I don't you know. I have a greater chance of my watch hours um, going up with shorter um, videos, if that makes sense. So, we're not gonna we're gonna close this vlog out today, and we're gonna start a new one tomorrow because I really want to get myself back together. The kids back in school. I got a little extra time to myself to really do things that I want to do without having the kids or having to find a babysitter. So. Um, Tomorrow's vlog, we're going to start with getting ourselves back together. I'm going to go get my nails and my feet done. I ain't had my feet done in so long. It's been since June, and that's too long since to go without my feet being done. Um, of course, y'all know I be doing my own nails. I be doing gel X on my hand, but the last set I did, I ain't too much care for. And plus, I ain't got no more, no more glue. And so I just figured... Then I'm going to go get my feet done. I might as well let my girl go ahead and do my nails. I haven't been to my nail tech in forever because I've been doing my own nails at home. So we got an appointment tomorrow for that, for our nails and our feet. And then I get, um, I got some new hair. I got um, four bundles, 228 inches and 226 inches. You know your girl don't do no long hair. I haven't done long hair in so long. But 
for some reason I'm just I'm just wanting some long hair and I and I'm really wanting to like build my wig collection back up so I don't have a middle part long to where I can wear straight in curling um, I do have a middle part my layered mom you know my, my little mom wig my mom cut it's the it's the layered like mid length hair I love that wig down but I want something I want to add another wig to my collection so yeah get my collection back up after giving away so many of my wigs just being nice um so yeah I got four bundles and I'm gonna do a two by six closure I got to go pick up my closure probably I don't know if it's gonna be ready today if I can go get it today or if I might just go get it tomorrow when I get my bundles um so we're gonna make us another wig we're gonna make the wig tomorrow um and then I don't know my maintenance is not like everybody else maintenance because I don't have for the ones who knew here, you guys who already been rocking with your girl know what's going on. For the ones who knew here, I'm bald. Of course, you can see I have alopecia totalis, so I don't have hair nowhere on my body. But my hair is trying to grow back on certain in certain areas because God is like doing something, and I don't know when He gonna complete it. But it's, I mean, I know it's already completed. It's just, it just ain't made it to me yet. <laughs> but I don't have to go get, I don't have to get my brows arched or waxed. I don't have to go get a Brazilian wax because. Yeah, I don't have hair. I don't have to do none of that type of stuff. I, my lashes have grown back. They're not as full or long, but they did grow back. I'm starting to get some brow hair. So I could do me some lash, lash extensions, but I have been loving my strips and having the option of taking them on and off every day if I wanted to. So I don't think we're going to do no lash, no lash extensions. So my maintenance is like really simple. Just nails, feet, and either... Uh, revamping the wig that I already got like washing it and stuff and restyling it or creating me a new one so we're gonna just do nails feet and then create a new wig and we probably gonna just I don't know probably go get a couple of makeup items cuz I it's a couple things that I need I know I need some more sponges and stuff um, but it's me sitting here telling y'all I don't want my videos to be long anymore and I already talked to y'all six minutes so I'm finna go ahead and shut my trap because shut my mouth because I'm talking too much. I'm finna go ahead and do my devotionals. I had to leave the house before I got a chance to do my devotionals this morning. I'm gonna get off here with y'all, do my devotionals, and I'm gonna call y'all back so we can have us a little Bible study moment because we haven't had us a, Bible, a good Bible study moment in a minute. Like, we actually gonna open up the Bible and we gonna talk about and dissect whatever scripture that the Lord placed on my heart. And yeah, we're gonna close out this vlog. So, let me get into my devotional and then I'll call y'all back so what we ain't gonna do is laugh at me with my glasses on that's what we're not gonna do that's what we're not gonna do cuz child I really dislike these glasses I tried to send them back but they wouldn't let me I guess I had yeah, passed the return or exchange time but anywho let's get into the word real quick um This is not going to be a Bible study like I thought, like I said, that I wanted to do. Um, apparently, um, it's something else that's needed. I just want to encourage a couple of you guys while I encourage myself. Um, just by letting you guys know that you are not alone. You are not alone. You are not by yourself. Um, in today's time, I see a lot of people, especially on social media, um, professing their newfound relationship with God and um, be them beginning to start they you know their walk with God and just living righteous. Um, And I think I spoke on this before on my channel about how we fail to let the new believers, the babes in Christ, know that the walk with this walk with God is so narrow and it's not easy by any means. Because I think we kind of hype it up to be, which it is amazing, and it is, it's 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 nothing short of amazing. Um, it's great, and the reward that we receive from it is just greater than anything that we could ever receive or ever think that we want. Um, but the walk, the, the, the journey to get to that place is not easy. 
um but i think one of the the biggest things that causes us as believers or a lot a lot of believers in general but i know for sure like people who are just beginning a walk um with god what causes them to want to quit or stop or um allow life circumstances to create a pause a long pause or or stop them um comes from them feeling like they are alone like there's nobody that understands what they're going through uh feeling like that if they speak what they know to be true what they read or what they read in the bible or they speak what god have told them personally that um nobody would be able to understand and um it wouldn't make sense and uh just the fear of not wanting to look be be looked at differently um because of what you believe to be true pertaining to god and your faith um but let me be the one to encourage you if this just <clears throat> excuse me this just reach just one person that would do my heart all the justice in this world because I know how it feels to feel like you're alone. Let me be the one to encourage you and let you know that girl, oh boy, you are not alone. You're not alone. Even if you don't have no one physically, physically that you can see like myself to tell you that you are not alone and to help build your confidence and give you confidence in knowing that you are not alone allow god's word to allow god's word to do that for you i'm gonna give you scripture the first scripture that i'm gonna give you to prove to you that god is always with you um let's go to haggai two and four and we just gonna read the end part of the scripture and the end part of the scripture says and now just a backstory on Haggai to basically some Israelites had went back to Jerusalem basically to rebuild the city um but back to but in verse four at the end of it, it says and now get to work this is God talking and now get to work for I am with you, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. Just that part of the scripture alone gave me all of the comfort in the world to know that. And it's not like I have never known it. But I think that we allow our life circumstances and how how rugged the uphill battle is the battle is to go uphill we allow ourselves to forget that he is with us whenever he called any disciple to follow him or to send to any disciple he sent out he always let them know that go and i'll be with you i'm with you And to know that he's with me is all that I need to keep going. So when you get to a place to where you're working and you feel like you're, or you're trying to do what you feel like God has called you to do, or in whatever it is in your life, whatever area that is in your life, and you start to feel discouraged, feeling like that no one understands and that you can't do it. And you, you, you just feel like that you're by yourself, that you're alone. Um, just know that you're not alone because he's always with you. And the best part of that is while he's with you, walking alongside of you, he's still working he's doing things behind the scenes and he's doing things in the spiritual realm and in, in, in a space that we can't even begin to comprehend 
on your behalf for you. So whenever you feel like that, ain't nothing moving, nothing is happening, nothing is going right, everything is going left, you feel by yourself, you can't, you don't have nobody to turn to, nobody to talk to, because you feel like ain't nobody really taking God serious, as serious as you are, you don't have nobody that you feel like that you, that will be able to understand where you at, remember that God is with you and that he's working for you. Um, a scripture I can give you to prove that he is, um, always working for you is um let's see in john 5 7 john 5 verse 17 says but jesus replied my father is always working and so am i uh let's see isaiah 64 and 4 says for since the world began no ear has heard and no eye has seen a God like you who works for those who wait for him. So don't be one of the ones to knock God out of his seat as being the driver and the creator of your life by refusing to wait um, for him to do what he promised you that he's going to do in your life and with you and through you. Um, wait. Wait patiently because he's working. He's working and the Bible scriptures also tell us that he's a man that he shall not lie. He cannot lie. God cannot lie. He's never changing. He cannot be anything outside of who he is, who he say he is. And we have to just believe and trust that. And we have to hold on to that. So whenever you feel like that you are alone or you feel like nothing is changing, you don't have nobody to talk to to explain how you feel or to to even be able to relate to you, to be able to understand you. Um, and you just tired of, you really tired of, just, you're tired of waiting. You're tired of going through. You feel like that you're doing this all by yourself. Remember that you are not alone. God is with you and he's always working for you. Always working for you. Just while you're praying for God to create, help you become who you are supposed to be and help you get to the place that you, you're supposed to be at. Also pray that he give you the strength to to be everlasting. The strength to endure. The strength to um, get to that place. And once you get to that place, pray that he will give you the strength to last in that thing. To the strength of um, the strength to create longevity in whatever it is that he is getting ready to allow you to step into. Because once you get there, that's just part of the. That's just part of it. Just one little small part of it. The biggest the biggest push and pull is going to be once you step into it. Because you need just as much, if not more, strength and wisdom to carry that thing out to the finish. To the finish line that you needed to get through the door. So, yeah. I don't know if that made sense. I don't know if I was just rambling. Or if y'all, if that, this video is still going to be longer than what I wanted it to be. But I don't know if that made sense. Hopefully that made sense. Just know that you're not alone. Um, I'm one physical person that you can talk to. Y'all can, we can chat down in the comment section down below. Y'all can shoot me a DM here on, I think you do DMs here on YouTube. I figured it out. Y'all probably already know. But if not, y'all can shoot me a DM on Instagram. Y'all can email me. I have all my stuff contact information in the description box down below and we can chat it up girl you are not alone yoga sis definitely knows how it feels to be walking this journey with god and it being so narrow and feeling like no one understands um around you but you um and even if you don't have a physical person you don't want to talk to me just know that god is always with you go read this the read the scriptures for yourself and you will find out you'll figure it out that he's always with you he's never not with you he's covering your both sides your front and your back and he lives within you and he's 
always working for you. So don't feel like that you're just waiting for no reason and that you are by yourself. So you might as well give up. The devil is a liar. Don't give up. Keep waiting because, girl, he is working so hard on your behalf. All because you are waiting and you are enduring and you are trusting in him and just knowing that he's with you and that he's going to pull you through that door that you need to get through to become whoever it is that he created you to be and do whatever it is that he told you that you're supposed to be doing. So, yeah. I love y'all and this is going to be the end of this video hopefully that was helpful hopefully that encouraged at least one of you guys send this video out to whoever needs to hear it your baby mama your cousin your auntie your uncle i don't care who it is send it out to at least one somebody um and i will talk to you guys in the next video